Hello friends this episode of Dr Kohat is dedicated to the noise pollution its sources hazards prevention and control the word noise stems from the latin word noisia meaning seasickness and is defined as a wrong sound in the wrong place at the wrong time noise pollution is the disturbing or excessive noise that may harm the activity or balance of human or animal life outdoor noise caused by machines and transportation systems motor vehicles aircraft and trains and indoor noise caused by machines building activities music performances are the major sources of noise pollution the characteristic properties of noise include loudness the intensity of noise which is measured in terms of decibels and the normal conversation produces a noise of 60 to 65 decibel a whispering sound may produce 20 to 30 decibel and a heavy street traffic produces 60 to 80 decibel in human exposures beyond 115 decibel are not permissible frequency the frequency is denoted in terms of hertz human ear can hear the frequencies ranging from 20 to 20000 hertz and this range is reduced with age and other subjective factors the range of vibrations below 20 hertz is infra audible and the range of vibrations above 20000 hertz is ultrasonic sometimes the noise is expressed in psychoacoustic terms known as the phone the phone is a psychoacoustic index of loudness it includes both intensity and frequency in man the noise pollution may bring about auditory effect and non auditory effects the auditory effect is closely associated with whistling and buzzing in the ears temporary hearing loss occurs in a frequency that ranges between 4000 to 6000 hertz the non auditory effects includes the interference with speech annoyance especially the neurotic people are more sensitive to noise than balanced people and the reduced efficiency and physiological changes in animals the noise can increase the risk of death by altering predator or prey detection interfering with reproduction and contributing to permanent hearing loss the noise pollution could be prevented and controlled by creating public awareness formulating proper regulations for the judicious use of loudspeakers and public address systems the ban of firecrackers and on use of horns with jarring sounds the construction of soundproof rooms for noisy machines noise producing industries airports bus and other public transportation terminals and railway stations to be sited far from where the living places the vegetations or the trees should be planted along the roads and in residential areas